<laughs> Hello, I'm Rob, and in this video, I'll show you how to check if your PC can run Windows 11, and also cover how to fix some of the errors you may encounter. Microsoft has some steep requirements for their latest operating system. Your PC needs to support TPM 2.0, and have a fairly recent processor as well. But this could change in the future. For now, the easiest way to check if your PC is compatible is to download an app called Why Not Win 11, which you can find linked in the video description. Once you run it, you'll get the compatibility results. Here you can see this PC is all green, so it's good to go. If you get any yellow or red results, you may not be able to run Windows 11. But we may be able to solve or bypass the issue with the following solutions. The fix for this one requires you to go to your BIOS and enable Secure Boot Mode. You can usually enter your PC's BIOS by pressing the Delete key F1, F2 or F12 when turning on your PC. Once in your BIOS, search for Secure Boot and enable it. Save your settings. It's usually the F10 key and then exit. If that doesn't help, go back into Windows. Right click on My Computer or this PC and click Manage. In storage, click on Disk Management. Right click on your Windows drive, usually Disk 0, Properties, and then Volumes. Here we can see this disk covers C drive, or the Windows drive, and also that the partition style is MBR. If it's MBR, then it needs to be switched to GPT for Windows 11. While no data should be deleted during the process, I recommend backing up your personal files in the unlikely case something does go wrong. Also, viewing this whole section before going through with it is a good idea. If you want to try and convert your disk to GPT, there are two options. The easiest is to use the EaseUS Partition Master. Find it linked in the video description below. Once it's open, right click on the Windows disk and choose Convert to GPT. Then execute the operation. Follow the prompts and it will take care of the rest. Your PC will reboot and Partition Master will start the conversion process. Once done, press enter to restart. As it says on this screen, you'll need to enter your BIOS and change the boot mode from legacy to UEFI for your PC to boot the GPT disk. During startup, my BIOS key is the delete key, but it's also commonly the F1, F2 or F12 key. Once in the BIOS, look for boot mode or something similar. It might be called CSM or Compatibility Support Module. Change it to UEFI or disable CSM for it only to run as UEFI. Save your settings and exit the BIOS. You'll now boot into Windows and see that your disk has been converted into GPT. Now, the second option requires a little more work. Click the start button. Then the power button and hold the shift key while clicking restart. On this menu, click troubleshoot. Advanced options, and then command prompt. Type mbr to gpt.exe slash convert. Command prompt will attempt to convert the drive to GPT. Once completed, you need to change the boot setting in your BIOS from legacy to UEFI to actually boot from the GPT disk. Exit, hit enter, and turn off your PC. Head back into the BIOS and find your boot section. In boot mode, change it from legacy to UEFI. Enable secure boot if you haven't already and save your settings. You can now try to upgrade or install Windows 11. If your drive is larger than 64 gigabytes, try freeing up some space by deleting or moving files on your Windows drive elsewhere. You can also try extending your C drive space with software like the EaseUS Partition Master. For a detailed guide on how to do that, check out the link in the video description. There's not much you can do to upgrade officially if Windows deems your processor as unsupported. The requirements might be a bit more relaxed in the future though, so try again closer to the official release. If you get this error, you can try going into your computer's BIOS by pressing the delete key 
F1, F2 or F12 when you turn on your PC. Once in the BIOS, look for trusted platform module or something along those lines and enable it if it's disabled. Save your settings. It's usually the F10 key and then exit. If that doesn't fix it, you're also stuck on Windows 10 for the time being. Those that have passed the requirements can get Windows 11 in a few ways. The easiest is to upgrade through the Windows Insider program. Search for Windows Insider, create or sign in with a Microsoft account, restart your PC and then go back to Insider. Choose the development option and check for Windows updates. It should download Windows 11 and install it when you restart. Another way is to install Windows 11 by using the ISO file floating around on the internet. You can use an app called Rufus to copy the file onto a USB stick and then use it as the primary boot device to install Windows 11. The last option is to wait until Windows 11 is released officially and then you'll be able to grab it simply by checking for Windows updates. Well, I hope you've been able to upgrade or install Windows 11. Thanks for watching, like or subscribe, share or leave a comment and we'll see you next time.